And we're back with one of our favorite guests. I know we say that a lot, but our dear friend who kind of breaks it down the parenting world. And right now, Roxanne, I feel like the question is all about schools. And so it's the perfect time to chat with her. Yes, it will be great to hear from there. She is Laura Byrne, Parenting Magazine. Hello, thanks for joining us. Hi, oh, it's so good to be with you guys. And you know, it is back to school. Have we not been stressing about this for months? And I think for every parent, you know, we all have big choices to make, whether it's to send our child to bricks and mortar or go to e-learning or go to virtual or homeschool. There were so many options. And I just want to say to every parent, every caregiver, grandparent, teacher, just give yourself some grace and be confident in the decision that you made. If you feel like someone's passing judgment on you, forget them. You have made a choice that was best for your family. And I also say check in on your mom friends too, see how they're doing, because I know, and I know you guys are feeling it too, we're all sort of living in this ball of stress of what is the future going to look like? Because honestly, we really don't know. There are so many unanswered questions right now. Laura, you put that so well, especially bringing up that judgment factor too yeah. that we're starting to see as, as mm -hmm. people do say their decisions out loud, just try to support one another. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I've been able to do though, getting out and about, I've been kind of living vicariously through you because you're all showing different things that you can do, whether it's online in the magazine. And one thing that you're highlighting in this edition, the Glacier Children's Museum. Yeah, in fact, uh, our cover, we are featuring Sarah Cole. She's the president and the CEO of the museum. She's featured with her wife and her twins. And she was actually part of the team that opened the museum 10 years ago. So really perfect that she is now back serving to lead that organization now mm -hmm. in 10 years. Years and what a time uh, to be celebrating a 10 year anniversary. So in her article, she's going over what the past 10 years have been like, looking toward the future, making that pandemic pivot as we all have, trying to offer more programs and services for our families, even if that means it's virtually. Uh, so really just great to have a chance to talk with her and to hear her perspective on everything that's going on. And it's just a, just a really, I, we, we adore her. I know you guys do too. So mm -hmm. we love the museum, obviously, but 10 years, I believe that it's 10 years already. That's crazy. That's one of my favorite places to take my daughter. And we have not had a chance to get back there since the pandemic. Yeah began, but I'm sure they have all the safety protocols in place. Yes. And that's been such a challenge for her, I would imagine, too. Absolutely. You know, I've been with my kids. We wanted to experience it and see what it's like. And they're limiting the number of people who can come in. Uh, there's hand sanitizer everywhere. Signage is everywhere. They adults, if you're you have to wear a face mask. They encourage kids to wear face masks as well. So it's a really good opportunity before the kids head to school taking them there so they get used to wearing their face mask when they are out and about. But they are changing out the toys consistently throughout the day, constantly cleaning. I, at some points I was like, well, I think there are more people around here cleaning than there were actually people playing at the music doing it yes yeah. you know laura when it does come to the magazine of course you can share the different things that we can do with our family in, in a safe yeah. manner these days you yeah. also share a lot of products and with back to school still being yeah. on the forefront of mind i know you're seeing some things that may help people at home may help people in the classroom what are your some of your favorite back to school supplies so for the parents who are choosing to go for e-learning or virtual learning mm -hmm. i love these it's by pixel eyewear it's for kids and we've all seen these blue light blocking glasses, right? Uh, well, mm -hmm. one, Laura, Laura, do you want me to put mine on? Yes, you <laughs> should. Sure I, goes off. I oh it's designed for kids. But the one thing I like about the Pixel brand is mine that I bought off Amazon. They're cheap. They kind of have this yellowish tinge to it. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. really do not. They're almost perfectly clear. So a uh, much better quality than I think the ones that I got, but definitely worth the investment for kids because they're going to be on their computers. Yeah. I, I, when I use those, I have better sleep, better quality sleep, better dreams. There's something to them. And Natalie, you look great. Look at you. Yeah, I, I <laughs> love the love it. though, so you can see the reflection. That's why. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I wear mine too when I'm working as well. So I, they, I definitely recommend it, even if you're looking at your phone to put them on. Now, mm -hmm. another thing too, if you're sending your child back to the classroom, mm -hmm. one box is right. I love these by Funkins because they are washable, machine washable, which is great. But they also come as a matching placemat. So I know now, you know, they've had these in the past, but now I think more than ever, just having that additional layer of protection that the kid can bring home and 
wash, but they're not just putting their food on a surface. Even though schools, I know, will be taking that extra step. To mm -hmm. I do like the idea of a placemat. Mm -hmm. And of course, you really don't want to be super matchy matchy. They also yeah. have. I love it. I love matchy matchy. You can do the, the super kids or the full face covering. So either one that they mm -hmm. want, and they have the adjustable strap. So that way it fits perfectly. Nice. In place. Laura, that's my love language. Matchy matchy is my love <laughs> matchy, I mean, Matching placemats, mask, lunchbox. I love know. it. You've got well, it. Laura, we appreciate you. Unfortunately, we are already out of time, but thank you so much for being with us. And of course, people can grab Tampa Bay Parenting all over the place, right? Yeah, I know some places it's not available because paper products can't be touched, but you know, it is available at YMCA's and other places. Uh, but of course, you can see the digital version on TampaBayParenting.com. And if you want to email us, you can find it, the email on the website there, and we can definitely get you on our subscription list as well. Okay, great to see you as always. Take care and stay in touch, okay? Take care. Yeah.